have a matchup between a four and a six seed. The Wheeling Hospital road to the finals is Andrew Schielick of Wheeling Park, a 7-5 overtime win over Cole McComas, the top seed of Beaver Local in that semifinal. Caden Stout, 9-5 decision over Brian Palmer Jr. of Buckeye Local to advance. Stout also had a big uh, win against the three seed, Dominic Patera, the talented freshman from Indian Creek. That coming in the quarters last night. So we've got Stout, the fourth Red Devil, in the finals, taking on another Patriot finalist, Andrew Schielick, on your Buffalo Wild Wings championship matchup. Stout is a sophomore. Schielick is a senior. Four versus six. It shows you, obviously, the depth of this tournament. You've got talent up and down the seats. Certainly a lot of talent up and down the seats. So getting set for wrestling. Between these two, last year Stout was a sixth at the OVAC tournament. Sheelick was fourth. Sheelick a runner-up at state the last two years. And Stout was a state qualifier. We are underway at 138 pounds. Yes, there's a lot of depth in this weight class. There's a nice shot by Schillick. Stout's up. Uh, oh, man. Took him down. Two early points. Yes, and he goes right to that half. Yeah, and Stout's only a sophomore. Number six seed. Be in the LVAC finals in this weight. Hmm. It's a tough weight. It's a very good talent. I mean, you look at Stout, he took down Paul Maroos and all Iowan. Right. So there we go. Now we got a 2-1. Two 2-1 one. Two one after the escape. First period action. And Sheeter's got a lot of movement. Had a nice shot earlier. One ten and counting here in the opening period. Two one. And she looked with the early advantage. Looking to join his teammate Cody Taggart as an OVAC champ. Taggart winning at 113 pounds earlier. And they're still just filling each other out. There's a, there's a shot by Stout. Still keeping separation here. Still two to one, 27 seconds. Yeah. There's another, oh, that's a nice quick shot again. And down. He's got two. a really nice, Sheelix got a great shot at high crotch, head outside single, just a great quick shot. And he did it, you know, with 10 seconds here left in his period. He needs to hold him down. Gonna get him. So four to one here, seven seconds to go in the opening period. Andrew Shelik off to a good start. It's St. Clair's with Caden Stout. Yeah, Shelik just had two great, two great shots. Stout's trying to need to score here. Nice little scramble. We might not have time. Uh, and the period comes to an yeah. end. Four to one. Andrew Shelik in front. Look on your West Liberty University replay as uh, Shelik uh, scores first. Yeah, Shelik, Shelik chose down. He won the toss, chose down. He's up 4 1. He's up quick. Hand control. He's got another skate, so he's up 5 1. 5 1 there? Yeah, Stout, uh, Stout needs to get a takedown here. But it's, Shelik's got that good shot from outside. See if he goes back to it. Andrew Schielick with this lead at 5-1 to one on your Huntington Bank a score bar, 132 and counting in this second period. There's a reshot. This time it's a head inside single, but I gave the two. two. Okay. He got two. So he shot a nice head outside single. Now he's shot a nice head inside. So he has three really nice takedowns. 7-1 to one now. Schielick in front of Stout. 
You know, Stout's going to keep battling. He got up for the escape there, so it's 7 2. You know, one thing we've noticed about St. Clair's in this tournament, uh, they, they keep coming after you. Absolutely. We have two chance so far, Kish and Reese Skaggs. We got, I think, I think Sheelik might have got poked in the eye here, right? Hmm. Joel Sansone talking to his wrestler, Caden Stout. Mentioned the uh, Red Devils have uh, wrestled a, a pretty strong uh, schedule so far this winter. Yeah, we talked about, you know, they went to North Canton and maybe went up to New, to New Jersey, but uh, they're having a nice round tonight. Uh, I don't know, the trainer's checking him out here. I think he did just get poked in the eye. I don't see him really working anything in blood mm -hmm. or anything, so. So it's seven to two, Sheila here in the second period of the injury time. Sheila back on his feet. Yeah, so Sheila's she got the five point lead. He's got a minute five to go in this period. He probably just needs to go back to that good shot, but uh, Stout's gonna keep coming. And Stout's being physical right now. She's got that Russian, and we've seen a lot of good, you know, that we call it a Russian tie when I wrestled. They've done a really good job of controlling the arm. We've seen a lot of that today. There's that nice high crotch again. Needs to get over and change the two. He's got his head on the outside. He's good. He's just got to work up. That nice takedown. She looks got such a good shot. Got a real good shot. Nine three, your score here. Now he's working an underhook. Fifteen seconds and counting here in this second period with Sheila in front, nine three. Again, Stout's being real physical. She, she's just got just got to be careful here. Nine three. He's just got to yeah. keep taking his nice shots. He's has great shots here. He sets it up. Boom. Head outside. Almost can't drill it that good. He just needs to change his hands over. He does. Perfect. No. Stout, Stout will keep wrestling. Absolutely. So he's trying to switch. Nine three. Good. Gonna let him up. Yep. To see if he goes back to that head outside. He, he does have one head inside shot this time. I right, look for Stout to just keep trying to throw. There's the head inside, come up. Nice two again. He's probably, I mean, he's had some of the nicest shots of the night. Uh, I mean, he's had, you know, three head outside and two head inside. He's really putting on a nice takedown clinic. Doing a nice job. St. Clair's will actually, I was trying to figure out where they've gone. They, they, they were part of the Powerade tournament this year. The same oh. weekend they hosted their own tournament. Oh, so wow. they hosted their own tournament, you know, over uh, near, near New Year's. And most of their guys headed up to uh, the Powerade wow. in Cannonsburg. Wheeling Park did travel to the Beast of the East, which I believe is up there in the Northeast. Yeah, I mean, there's, there's some, of the, you know, Parkersburg and Beaver and St. Clair's, though, and Wheeling Park, uh, they'll go anywhere. Steubenville. I mean, no wrestle people. So, I mean, that's really helped our valley, too. Right now, we got 11 5. Stout's still probably trying to look for a throw. Um, you know, Shellick probably needs to get back one more time on a leg attack. And there it is. There he goes. A nice head inside. Goes to the outside. There's just that more. Yeah, he's, you know, now Stout's just got to keep trying to get up. I mean, you know, keep looking for, you know, the big move because, I mean, he's got still got some gas in his tank, so. Got the hands. There we go. Escape. So it's 13-6. He's just got to defend off these throws and. Fifteen seconds. Andrew Schielek. Nearing an OVAC championship. That's a good st shot by Stout. Um, you know, Sheelik's just going to try to hold on. There's four seconds, three. And it's over. Yeah, that was a good. Andrew Sheelik, OBAC champion at 138 pounds, your West Liberty University replay. 
A number of takedowns for Schielek. He gets the win 13 to 6. We're going to head back to the podium now at 138 pounds. Place finishers. Finishing eighth from Steubenville High School. Tyler Muldrew, Jr. at 24 and 4. Caldwell with a seventh place finisher. Colin Wiley, a senior. He's Liverpool's Eric Williams, freshman. He places sixth. Another talented freshman from Indian Creek, Dominic Patera. He places fifth. He's 15 and six on the season. And Brian Palmer Jr., Buckeye local, your fourth place uh, finisher, 27 and two on the season. And we get the chance to see the end of that overtime matchup with Cole McComas. Uh, picked up that victory to place third. He was your top seed entering the tournament and a three-time Ohio State runner-up. Caden Stout, sixth seed, is your runner-up at 138 pounds. And your champion from Wheeling Park High School, Andrew Schielek. Now it's time to head back to Julianne Pelusi and Matt's side with a Project Best champion interview she's with. That's right, Wheeling Park's Andrew Schielek with me here as a senior. You're going out on top as an OVAC champion. What does that mean to you? It's the best feeling in the world. It's just great. And uh, tell me a little bit about that match. You were in control most of the yep. time. What were you thinking? What were you feeling? I was saying keep scoring, keep scoring points. That's how I'm going to win the match. Being able to win an OVAC championship, do you think that's a sign for things to come for the rest of your career in high school? Definitely, definitely. All right, congratulations thank and thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it.